Good morning from the corner of Epworth and Lincoln. <clears throat> I'm Pastor Danny. We've got a little bit of background noise from Interstate 69 out there. Uh, fortunately, we don't have a life flight helicopter landing, but uh, I want to talk to you today about a story of a, that was written in 1872 by a guy named Jules Verne, and it, and it was called Around the World in 80 Days. Around the World in 80 Days? That's crazy. You know, we, we, can, we can go around the world today in, in 40 hours. What's the big deal about going around the world in 80 days? Well, in 1872, going around the world in 80 days, being able to make a complete circuit of the globe in 80 days, was crazy talk. It was impossible. That could never happen. And so a book, about a guy accepting a challenge to go around the world in 80 days was it was a great novel. Well, guess what? It's been 80 days since I first stood in front of this camera. Now, I don't count every day. It just every once in a while it pops in my head and I say, hey, I, hey, how long has it been? It's been 80 days since March the 16th. Now, for some that might be a long time. But who knows? It's hard to think. In 1872, it's hard to, it was impossible to imagine going around the globe in 40, day, 40 hours. 80 days was hard to imagine. The future is so unknown. And to try to wrap our heads around where it's going to be, what it's going to look like in 60 days, what it's going to look like in 80 days, what it's going to look like in 100 days, it's hard to do that. But two words of encouragement today. The first thing comes from Acts chapter 14, verses 21 through 22. And it's Paul telling some new disciples in Christ that, you know what, uh, persecutions are coming and I'm encouraging you with persecution. I'm encouraging you with persecution. Wow. What kind of encouragement is that? It's gonna be hard on you, that's encouraging. It's not really that crazy. It's not that crazy because these persecutions give us an opportunity to walk in the footsteps of Christ. Christ was persecuted, he was resisted throughout his ministry and these disciples would face the same things. So it gives us an opportunity to be Christ-like. So that is encouraging. Here's the other thing. I don't know, it's probably been a year or so since we kind of cut some branches off and trimmed this tree so that it would stay healthy. And look what has happened. Out of this has come new life for this part of the tree. Out of pruning comes new life. Now, when this was first cut off, it was hard to imagine that there might be a new limb that would come out of this. There might be new growth, that there might be a new birth out of this section of this tree. Matter of fact, our intent was that there would be no growth there. New life found a way. So today, be blessed. Be encouraged. Be an encourager through the Holy Spirit that lives inside of you. Have a blessed day. Amen.